Okay, they gave us the confirmation. Runway is shut down. Whoa! Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Grand Photo 5 Mods video. Today, we're going to be playing as firefighters with the Los Santos International Fire and Rescue using a Rosenbauer Panther aircraft rescue and firefighting truck. This thing is awesome, guys. The arm up top moves. We can lift it up, extend it out to help out with aircraft fires. And uh, yeah, this should be a really fun patrol. We also have a helicopter standing by as well in case we have to respond to anything outside of this immediate area. But yeah, let's go ahead and get our day started. Hope you guys are having a great day. And as always, thank you so much for watching. So we have crash number one. Basically, this thing is for any kind of uh, fires at the airport involving aircraft this part up here can lift up and extend and we can actually pierce the fuselage of an aircraft to put water inside if we have to very very cool truck here let's go ahead and fold that down for now bring that back in and yeah we are ready and available for calls let's see what ends up happening today guys let's take a quick look at the interior you guys better get in because I want to spray the water and I don't want to accidentally hit you. All right, let's uh, let's try to spray over there. I'm going to aim right there. Bam! There we go. A very, very cool truck here. All right, so it looks like everybody is inside. We also have this training aircraft over here. We use this to practice our firefighting skills. We basically set that thing on fire and attempt to put it out. All right, we have a report of a working fire at the airport. It says it's on the tarmac, but it kind of looks like it's not. Oh, I can see it. Something's out there. Okay, um, I'm going to drive directly across. I was going to try to go over there, but let's just drive directly here. Come on, security, open up the gate. You opened up the wrong one. I'm curious what's on fire over here. Is it an aircraft? Is it a warehouse? Or a hangar, I should say. Not a warehouse, a hangar. What the heck are we responding to? Oh, you know what? I think we gotta go back inside. Okay, we gotta go over here. See, we could have just stayed in the airport and went around the terminal. Open up, open up, open up, boy. Hey! Hello, fire truck, fire. Alright, whatever. I have no idea how to get over there, guys. Alright, I guess we have to go back out of the airport. Wait, there's a fence here. Does this open? We're gonna make it open. There we go. Oh, man. There's barriers here. I may not be able to get in. Uh, I can't drive through those yellow ones. I guess... Uh, what do we do? What do we do? I'm gonna continue. I definitely should have just stayed out there on the road, guys, because now I'm about to end up in the water. Oh, we got stuff exploding. Can I just break all of these? Okay. Okay, got to do it. Oh, my God, there's a piece stuck to me. Hey, this is like my worst response ever because I have no idea where I'm going. Where is the fire? Okay, it's inside of here. I don't know what we're doing, guys. Okay guys, so I figured out it's actually on the roof. Um, I'm not sure if I'm be able to hit up there. Uh, let's see if we can maybe get this set up. Okay, we could probably use that to kind of spray up there. Mainly it's going to spray from this bottom, no bottom nozzle though. So what I think we're going to have to do is uh, actually just go ahead and stretch a line. So let's stretch a line, boys. All 
and we have our line. We're going to have to climb this ladder to the roof. And we're probably going to need another truck to back us up too, because I'm sure we're going to run out of water. So let me just go ahead and call another truck from now. All right, we made it to the roof. I honestly was not expecting to be fighting structure fires today, but that's the life of a firefighter. You really never know what you're responding to. So we are running out of water. We need that second unit to connect to us as soon as possible. We are down to 2,000 gallons. All right, we're down half a tank. By the way guys, this fire hose we're using, I know you guys are going to ask, this is still in beta, this is from Fire Callouts Beta, the link is in the description if you want to check it out, or you can check out the free version on lsbdfr.com. Alright, um, we have another truck connected to us now, so we have a larger supply of water, looks like we got a good majority of the fire out. Hopefully our next call will be like an aircraft on fire because that's what I really want to try to use the truck for since that is the main purpose of it. Responding to like aircraft crashes and stuff like that. Yeah, it looks like we have the main body of fire knocked down. Alright, thermal camera is showing we have no more fire, even though it kind of Actually, no, that could be just the generators running. Alright, uh, dispatch, go ahead and uh, show the fire under control. We are back in service. <laughs> you know, I was on Instagram today, and I saw a picture. It was a Throwback Thursday picture. I'm recording this on a Thursday. Um, but anyway, it was a picture of a firefighter. It was an old picture of a firefighter sliding down a aerial ladder from a ladder truck. It was so funny. He was just literally slided down. I was like, what? They do that? I mean, obviously, they don't really do that anymore, probably, because, you know, safety and stuff. But, yeah, back in the day, you could do, like, just about anything. It was kind of funny. Alright, well, uh, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, dismiss our water tender. Uh, they came in and brought us some more water. Thank you, guys. And uh, we're going to be back in service. Let me go ahead and put this arm down. All units, we've got an aircraft crash in Los Angeles International. Alright, guys, we just got a report of a aircraft crash. Crash. We're going to be responding to that. It looks like it's going to be on one of the runways over here. Okay, I see a aircraft. It looks like he missed the runway. 
I right, need to confront with the tower that this runway is shut down. Okay, they gave us the confirmation runway is shut down. Whoa! Oh no. Alright, let's get the water going. We, looks like we have m multiple victims on this plane. Okay, looks like we have the fire knocked down. Look at him just pull to the side. And let's see if we can save these people here. Alright, so it looks like we have uh, two victims here. Let me try to get them away from the uh, fire or the aircraft. Looks like this was the uh, pilot. I'm just going to bring him over here. Dispatch, we are going to need an ambulance to our location here on the runway. Looks like we have two victims. Okay, we got him up. And let's check on his uh, buddy over here, the pilot. Okay, he's up as well. Alright, so we're gonna ambulance to check them out and transport them. Uh, let's take a look at this aircraft. Looks like they uh, did a landing without their landing gear, so maybe they had some type of hydraulic failure or something. So I'm guessing they uh, landed over there and kind of just skid off the highway, or off the runway, excuse me, and then kind of just crash. Wow. A lot of damage to this aircraft here. Alright, EMS is on scene. They're gonna be transporting both victims. There's somebody stuck in my truck. What the heck? How did you get stuck in there? What happened? Let me get him out. Can I, no, I don't want to grab you. You're fine. Try and get him from out of there. There we go. I got you out, buddy. You alright? There you go. Feel better, man. Alright, let's see. What do we have here? Looks like they got stuck somehow. You guys good? I can't believe it. Hey, give them some space. I think my guys are like in the way or something. I'm just gonna try to clear, and then they should be okay. There they go, they figured it out. Alright, so we're going to be back in service. We're going to have to get a uh, salvage crew to come pick that thing up later and transport it somewhere. Um, I guess we'll probably have to call Ace Towing, get the rotator out here, lift it up, and get it probably to one of these hangars so it could get repaired or probably going to end up getting salvaged, honestly. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be flyable again. Let me know what you guys think. 
But, uh, yep, we are back in service and ready for the next call. Alright, getting another report of a fire on the tarmac. Let's go ahead and respond to that. Busy day at the airport for us today. Oh, I see it. Looks like we have another hangar on fire. Alright, it's gonna be the Devon Weston hangar. Alright, let's just go straight inside and so we can get water on the fire. We got a trail. Oh, we gotta make sure this doesn't. Yep, it blew up. Okay. Oh, we got people in here too. I heard somebody scream. What happened? Nobody's on fire, right? I hope not. Right, let's see if we can hit that with a uh, hand line because it is failing to go out. Jesus! Alright, looks like all the fire is out. It's an interesting area. I never walked back here before. Is this open? Oh, what is back here? I'm guessing there was probably a mission back here or something. That's cool. Oh, it goes right in. Okay, so you get another entrance point. And guys, y'all can put your taser around. We're firemen, not policemen. No, no tasers today. Damn, a busy day. We got another aircraft that went down. Looks like it's on the same runway, too. Maybe there's something wrong with that runway. Alright, everybody get in. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh, this one's a helicopter. Watch out, buddy. Don't don't drive up into that. I just stop traffic. All right, we got a helicopter on fire. Looks like they crashed there.
I don't see anybody over there. Nothing on thermal. Who is flying this thing? Oh, well, that's weird. I hope the pilot's okay. Maybe he was able to run away. Maybe this thing wasn't even flying. Maybe it was just parked here, but why would they park it on the uh, taxiway? I don't know. I'm going to have to do a little bit of an investigation there. But anyway, guys, looks like we are done with today's episode. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, let me try to stand in the light a little bit. You guys can see me some more. But uh, yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Also, hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new video. And don't forget, guys, check out my website, acepilot2k7.com. On my website, you will find all of the mods that I use. You also find more videos showing you how to install the mods, uh, tutorials, and I have some uh, videos for my ace subscribers. If you want to sign up and become an ace subscriber, you get to watch some exclusive videos that are only on my website. So definitely consider signing up. But thank you so much for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoy it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.